So while I've been waiting on the encoders, they got back ordered. It's been almost a month since I ordered the parts for these PCBs. They were supposed to be here initially, they thought before Christmas they would ship and then it got updated. And then they said um, January 3rd or something. And then it got updated January 6th. Today's like the 9th. They still haven't shipped. I don't know when they're actually coming. So it's gonna be a while, it's kind of frustrating. In the meantime, what I was doing is I was trying to find a, a better solution for using the stencils to get the solder paste on the circuit boards. And I saw some people did some interesting things with like a vacuum where you, where you set your PCB in the correctly sized little frame that you print and then you put your stencil on top of it and then you attach a vacuum and it just sucks the stencil down tight onto the PCB. And I tried creating some of those, none of them fit. Uh, my circuit boards, they weren't big enough. So I kind of took one design, tried to do it from scratch myself. Had a bunch of problems. I didn't. I didn't document any of the process. And then I ended up trashing it because I didn't like it. It wasn't working very good, and it was just a waste of time in my opinion. It was gonna take too long, too complicated. And the other thing I don't like about the vacuum method is, is that you just like basically lay your stencil on top every time, and then you have to line it up right. So every time you you take your stencil off, put a new PCB down, and then put your stencil on top again, you gotta line it all up again and stuff like that. So I was searching on um, Maker World and Printables and Thingiverse, and someone had this really simple design that's just like a flat plate. You put a couple of um, little narrow strips that will hold your your PCB and you just have this little hinged lid basically that you clamp your stencil onto and then easy peasy it's repeatable i can swap this circuit board out i can just pull this right out grab a new one stick it in here everything lines up great push it right to the top i put my stencil back down and boom look at this everything is everything is pretty well lined up it's not perfect but whoops if i can focus here it's not perfect but it's it's good enough for what i'm doing right here for the testing and stuff and then i was trying to make it um to where since i have one side stencil here and the backside stencil here. I figured, hey, I could probably line up two of these babies and then I could just stencil two at the same time. Here's a here's a front side, have another backside PCB right here and then, you know, boom, stencil one, stencil the other. Get your solder paste on one and on the other. I can just do it all with one thing. And I figured these things, I can print one of these in a few hours. So I could probably just get one of these for each circuit board. So I could have one that's set up just for the, just for the, uh, like the bottom frame PCB that's set up here for the left frame PCB and then another one of these that would be set up just for the right frame PCB and then I can just easily do front and back. Everything's repeatable. I don't have to swap stencils out anymore. I just leave them. You probably wonder what this hole in the center is for. Um, you can also, if I centered up the PCB and only did one here, I'm trying to do two, but if I ignore, ignore these two rails for a minute, but if these two, I straddle over this guy, then this just gives you a nice center support for your PCB. But the other nice thing about this is if I've already um, soldered components on one side and I'm going to work on the other side, this leaves it open so that those, you know, components can fit down there and not interfere. But if I don't have any components on it yet, this thing would be a nice center support if I needed it, but it turns out I don't actually need it. It fits in there pretty good. So, yeah. So a nice thing is, real simple solution. Simplicity is always better than the complex thing, like with vacuum stencil holder and stuff like that. So this is, uh, this is the way to go. I'll start wiping some solder on here. I'll get some video of that and then I can maybe do some time lapse populating and soldering the circuit board by hand. But uh, yeah, just a quick update on that.